Diane Brown, a single mother, wants the best for her eight-year-old son, Darius, but says it's hard to come by living in Gilpin Court. I'm just scared that it might be a shooting or something going on and my son just happened to be in a crossfire. I consider it uh, ground zero. Richmond Police Lieutenant Herman Loney oversees that sector of the city. Reporters could count on this woman to stand up for strippers. Elizabeth DeWitt, known as mom to strippers and club goers alike, was always fiercely protective of her dancers and their reputations. Mom died in 2001. Now it's her daughter, Pam, who plays mom to the dancers at her and her brother's club, the new Richards and Scott's edition. It was the only club to welcome us. If you deal with the wrong people, if you hire the wrong people and have the wrong uh, dancers, uh, the wrong, even customers, you have to monitor everybody. Pam didn't want her face shown because she has children in school. A, a lot of club owners will hire anybody. They don't do any background checks on them. You can have people come in that are living in hotels. He's pounding the pavement. Hauling his neighbor's trash. At just nine years old, this fourth grader at Mary Mumford Elementary started his own company, Frank's Pick and Roll Trash Can Service. Well, the average person, if they would have seen that happening, you know, and you was in that situation, you would have did it too. You know. Do you call yourself a hero? Do you think you did something heroic? Uh, no, not really. I just reacted to a situation that I seen was going on. That's all. It's part of everyday life. Everybody said, well, now what house did you move into? And we say, the one next to the lady with the flowers. Every time I walk by, I see something I didn't notice before. It's a nice break along the way. It's a good, pleasant smell. I think it's wonderful. It really stands out. The flowers are beautiful, and I'd like to know who it is. The story of Sally's flowers really begins here in the East End at the old Richmond Juvenile Domestic Relations Court. Now, she worked here for quite some time, and as you can imagine, that was a tough load. I had burned out severely, and I got not just depressed. I started getting agoraphobic, and that's a real problem. She found faith in a new way of living at a Billy Graham crusade. Since then, her life has bloomed as her garden grew. Oh, this smells so good. Sally's flowers are different. Her garden breaks all the rules. I know when I started this up here, and I got all this land, and I went crazy. When I have some ground, I stick it there. And then it turned out, really, that they all held each other up. And I thought that was neat. People would stop, you know, and it gave me a chance to tell them why it means so much to me, to give them a bright spot. They're on their way to the doctor. They're on their way with a child that has MS. They're on their way to a lawyer about a divorce. They're on their way to a job they hate. I understand all that. But this year has been a tough one. It's been altogether very different. She's plagued with disc problems in her back. A second round of back surgery has left her unable to tend to her beloved flowers. I believe that it was divine intervention that Claire, Claire came along. This is the second bloom, and it came back. Claire Terry is a gardener at Lewis Ginner Botanical Gardens. It's a match made in flower heaven. This is one of the best gardens I've seen. When I first moved here, this is the garden I saw, and I thought, that is a lovely garden. Claire comes by at least twice a week to work in the garden and to check on her new friend. It's a triple. Isn't it beautiful? That just popped yeah. open this week. She has been absolutely wonderful. She works hard. She works fast. She knows her, what she's doing. I love wild gardens. Something new's popping out all the time. I think she really likes it. I said, you know, this is not, this is not. There is no master gardener who's going to teach you to do what I did. You like that yellow daylily? I do, I do. Oh, look at the red lobelia. I didn't yeah. see that. I just love these colors. And I think that God's in control of everything that happens.